everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Austin, I'm a digital content creator and I wanted to film a video today to help you guys get to know me better. But I was picturing sitting in my room filming this video at home and I felt like we could make it a little more fun and a little more interactive. So today I wanna to share more about myself and I'm going to do so by taking you around to some of my all time favorite spots in New York City. I feel like this will really fill in the blanks and it'll be fun to kind of go on this like visual tour of my life. I personally am just excited because I think this is going to be fun, but I really want to use this as an opportunity to share more of my life, especially some of kind of the most important moments in my life, some of my big firsts, if you will. And we're starting out this morning in beautiful Riverside Park. We're actually right around the corner from the first stop of the day. But just to start off with some simple facts, I was born in a small town in Northern New Jersey and I actually still live in Northern New Jersey now. I live in Hoboken with my husband, Andrew. I am an only child, so I'm super close with my parents. I am a Virgo baby, so my birthday was last month. And I have just always loved being creative, whether I was writing in journals growing up or acting in plays or you know starting my blog in 2012. With all of that being said let me show you my very first apartment in New York City. Okay so the very first place I wanted to show you guys was my first apartment in New York City. We are here on 116th Street and this is actually technically part of the college that I went to. So I graduated from Barnard in 2016. I actually transferred in here when I was a sophomore. So I lived in this building behind me for three years and it was honestly such an incredible experience. I'm just a block from the one train. I'm a block from Riverside Park where we just were. One of my favorite fun facts about this street is they actually shot a lot of scenes in Gossip Girl here from season four when Blair went to Columbia, which is right across the street. Barnard is the Women's College of Columbia University. So you may actually recognize some spots from the show. And I'm actually standing right across from the vestibule where Blair and Chuck snuck off to have sex just in the middle of the city. And can I just say, there is not enough privacy there for that to happen. stop on this little Austin to Stone history tour of New York City that we're doing is where I got my first job in the city. So we are at the Free People Rockefeller Center. I'm hoping this car doesn't slam into my camera tripod that's trying to barrel apart. I worked here for three and a half years when I was in college and I absolutely loved it. It was a lot of work. I got to meet and interact with so many interesting people, a lot of whom continue to go on to work in fashion and public relations and other jobs. Sometimes I feel like getting that mythical first job in fashion is honestly just as simple as getting a retail job. I learned so much about merchandising, trends, price points, and so I'm truly grateful for that experience. So yeah, this is where I worked for three and a half years in college. I just took the one train down from Columbia and that's exactly how I got here. And I would commute back and forth, take a couple shifts a week. And honestly, I had a great discount and a very cute wardrobe. So I can't put my camera down right now just because this is a very busy street. But behind me is a building here on West 36th Street in the Garment District in the city. And this is the building where I had my first ever fashion internship. Now, this is a really good six degrees of separation story of how I even got this internship because I really didn't have any connections to the fashion world when I first moved here. So my friend from high school... Her dad was an SAT tutor. One of his students' mothers owns a showroom in New York City and carried this designer that I interned for when I was 18 years old. So the brand that I interned for was called Hunter Bell. I got to work with Hunter herself. She was the designer and I worked on, what was it? Maybe the fourth or fifth floor of this building here on West 36th Street. And it was just such an incredible experience. I'm actually really proud that I had an internship in the garment district. Back in the 60s, the garment district was one of the primary places where clothing that we bought was made. And now I'm sure it's even dropped since the last time I checked. It's a very low percentage of stuff that's actually still made here today, but it's such a strong community here in the garment district. 
Everyone knows each other. I got to go inside of factories. I got to go purchase trimmings and buttons. I even remember being in charge of posts for the brand's Instagram account. That's how far back in the day this was. I actually have a post on my blog recapping my summer interning here, so I'll also link that down below in case you'd like to read up on it later. Now, if I were being truly authentic, I would go to Hale and Hardy to pick up lunch, but I'm pretty sure they went bankrupt. RIP Hale and Hardy, but I did see a Shake Shack around the corner, so I might pop in there and just grab a quick bite and then I'll resume the tour. here in Soho and I'm standing in front of the Soho building. I wouldn't say this is like an especially well-known building even though it's named after the neighborhood but what you should know about it is this is my first ever office in the city. I started working at Nylon Magazine in 2016 as an editorial assistant and this was our office. We are here on Green Street. I absolutely love this area. There is literally no shortage of shops, great food, and people watching, trust me. This was where so many different firsts happened. It's where I conducted my first interview. It's where I got to do some on-camera work. It's where I got to meet some really cool celebrities. Like working at Nylon was just going to the bathroom, washing your hands, looking at the person washing their hands next to you and going, you're Michelle Branch, aren't you? I had the privilege of meeting and working with so many amazing people in this very building. And fun fact, Interview was the second magazine I worked at, also in that building. Yes, it was actually incredibly awkward my first few days there when I was walking into the building after I had just gotten laid off from a different publication in that building. I was so happy to be employed again nonetheless, so I have spent many hours inside those hallowed halls. <laughs> are now down in the East Village and standing in front of a very important establishment, at least to me. Oh my god, a bee. Oh my god, a bee. Whoa, oh my god, a bee. Did you guys see that giant bee? That was crazy. We are now here in the East Village in front of a very important establishment. It may look like an ordinary dive bar, and in some ways, I guess it is an ordinary dive bar, but this is also the place where I met Andrew. It was all the way back in February 2017. I was out with my friends for a girls' night, he was out for a boys' night, and two groups happened to collide on the dance floor, and we danced to 80s music. I recall Madonna playing, and AHA, and we exchanged phone numbers, and a few days later we went on a date, and I will bring you to our first date spot as well. But yeah, I just cannot believe that <laughs> right here on the corner of 7th and Avenue A, in the East Village, I was just unsuspecting, out with my friends, and bumped into my literal husband. So who knew? And I'm so grateful to Niagara for bringing us together. It's too early to go in for a drink. They're not open yet. And honestly, I don't really recommend going there before like 10 p.m., maybe 11. But as I've said, this is a very important stop on the Austin Life Tour because it's where I met my life partner. Oh, so sweet. Also, this place behind me across the street called Yucca Bar, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to have an insane Tuesday happy hour. Really, really great food if you like tapas and you like to go out on Tuesdays. Maybe they do it on other days too, not sure. <laughs> a little bit of traffic which is to be expected because we're in midtown but hopefully my new mic system is working out well do you guys like it let me know anyway i am here on second avenue and 51st street in front of it's not there anymore but right behind me is the spot 
where Andrew and I had our first date. I'll insert a photo from Google Street View from 2017, which is when we went on our very first date. But basically, there was an Italian restaurant behind us here called Pescatore. And yeah, that's where we had our first date just four days after we met at Niagara. I'm a little sad this restaurant isn't here anymore just because obviously, you know, it's very nostalgic. But I do have to say, the Thai place that's there now actually looks really good. So maybe Andrew and I will have to come back here at some point, maybe for, I don't know, our 10 year anniversary or something like that and get some cow soy. That's my favorite Thai dish. Comment down below and let me know what's your order from a Thai restaurant. I need to know, are we doing pad Thai? Are we doing dumplings? Like what's the vibe, you know? I'm not over here in Midtown very often, but a lot of memories come flooding back whenever I'm in the area. Okay, I am actually curious about the menu, so we're just gonna go check. Oh, and while we're here, this is Cornerstone, where I have spent many a New Year's Eve shout out to cornerstone on 51st street okay, looking at the menu they have something called cow todd <gasps> they do have cow soy chicken drumsticks and egg noodles and our special curry stew <gasps> wait do i need to come back here and try this i would come back i will text andrew and let him know <laughs> And just like that, I'm back in Hoboken. And I mean, the view from here isn't bad, right? If you've made it this far in the video, drop a Statue of Liberty emoji so we know who the real ones are. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so excited to watch back the footage. I hope the audio has worked out well. If that's the case, I definitely want to do more videos out and about in New York. I think this might be the first video in a really long time that's been shot entirely outside of my apartment. And I have to say, I mean, I'm biased because it's the most beautiful fall day right now, but just getting outside, walking around, I think I've done over 12,000 steps today and just feeling the energy of the city and getting to revisit so many important spots to me has honestly just really fulfilled me creatively today. And that is one of my goals with my YouTube channel going forward. If you guys have been to any of the spots we visited today, please comment down below and tell me more. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!